Hello, welcome to my bookbinding studio. I've received a lot of questions about making book cloth, so I'm going to show you how I make it. I'm not an expert, but this method has been working well for me. I learned with practice and from watching C Lemon and DAS bookbinding here on YouTube, so check them out for more resources. I found this lovely cotton linen blend fabric from my local fabric store. You can use virtually any kind of non-stretch tight weave fabric with the weight of your average cotton bed sheets or slightly heavier. I know the size of my book and spacing I need, so I cut the fabric to size, leaving at least a one inch border around the covers and spine. I recommend starting with a larger piece of book cloth for your project. Iron out folds and wrinkles in the fabric and brush off any dust. The iron-on adhesive I use is called Heat and Bond, which I buy from Michaels. There are two types, Ultra Hold and Light. I prefer the Ultra Hold because I like the stiffness it provides. I only have the light one on hand, which works just as well. Iron the Heat and Bond onto the wrong side of the fabric. Go slow to avoid bubbles and wrinkles. If there are small bubbles, you can flip it over and iron them out. Heat and bond does prevent glue from seeping through, but I found that it's not completely waterproof, so use just enough glue when mounting your book boards. You can experiment with different weights of fabrics and the two different types of heat and bond to achieve your preferred weight and stiffness. I've learned that with bookbinding, testing is key. Let it cool before peeling off the backing because I've made the mistake of removing some of the adhesive before it sets. I've prepared the tissue paper to iron on to the other side. This is a tissue paper called Unryu, made of kozo or mulberry fibers. The paper is very thin and light with a weight of 20 grams. You can use heavier tissue paper as well. Search Unryu tissue paper and you should be able to find many suppliers online. Time to iron on the tissue paper. I'm a bit more gentle and quick when ironing the tissue paper to avoid wrinkling and to prevent the heat and bond from seeping through. The tissue paper acts as an additional stiffener and it adheres well to bookboard with glue. That's why many book cloths are paper backed. I try to produce as little waste as possible, so here I am patching up the remaining exposed heat and bond. One last attempt to achieve optimal crispness. And voila, my book cloth is ready to be made into book covers. Floppy fabric, stiff book cloth. Heat and bond is acid free and so is the glue and tissue paper I'm using. So I'm confident that this book cloth will last for many years to come. A better but rarer feature is to find materials that are archival quality. I hope this video helps you with your book project. Let me know what other tutorials you'd like to see from me. See you soon!